Hello, beautiful. Boy, do I have a treat for you today. Oh my God. I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna smile. I will be going through all of the different phases of grief during this entire process of watching these videos today. And I hope you're ready to go on that journey with me. We are about to see people demolish their fucking hair, cremate it until it is blonde as hell. And I can't wait to see them and to tell them everything they did wrong and sometimes right. But let's see for ourselves what happens. Let's watch the videos. In this video, we are doing an external transformation and I'm gonna be spicing up my look by bleaching my own hair. Sorry, this has nothing to do with the hair, but I love your sweater. It is so weather, weather baby. Am I right? If you're wearing a sweater right now, like the video. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually freaking out because I never bleached my whole entire head before. And it's actually kind of funny because I've been making excuses for myself to delay the whole bleaching process, but no more procrastination because all these products has been sitting on my storage room for a whole freaking month. Oh my God. We know how this works, right? At this point, Asian hair, very tough to lighten, always turns orange or yellow. She also has a naturally very, very dark color. I am not sure if she box colored this hair or if this is just her natural color. I'm sure we're gonna find out because they always like to shock me and they always find a way of shocking me. So for all I know, she probably has blonde hair, underneath blue hair, <laughs> underneath red, underneath the black that she has right now. Okay guys, I changed my clothes. I'm wearing an old t-shirt and I have a dirty Towel. This is another side note, but I always find it funny that when people are bleaching their hair, they choose to wear the darkest shirt they own. I actually just realized that the bleach might turn your white shirt yellow, but I'm pretty sure it won't. And I'm pretty sure it will not stain your white shirt at all. If you're bleaching your hair, white shirt. If you're coloring your hair, dark shirt, you know? Or just bleach the shit out of your black shirts. Whatever you wanna do. I think it's better first I section my hair. All right, she's sectioning. Let's see if we win today with the sectioning and see if she can actually do this part right. This is like the bare minimum I expect from people is to be able to section their hair properly. But honestly, a lot of the time they cannot do that. So we'll see in a second. Four quadrants, I hope, which is just the apex down behind the ear and then down the whole center of the head. And then you get four sections. And if you have a lot, a lot of hair, you can maybe section the back into four slices and then two in the front. I watch a ton of YouTube tutorials to buy all these products. Those sections look scary. They look a little bit wild. Um, Why are they all zigzag and crazy and just all kinds of clips going on in there? A lot of shit. I might end up being a massive flop or this could be a start for a new fabulous look. I don't know. Uh, if I'm being honest, my guess is that it's gonna be a very big, awful flop. But sometimes you guys find ways of shocking me and it's very crazy when you shock me. I feel like I'm unshockable, but when things go right, when you've done everything wrong, it's very shocking, I must say. Is it toxic to inhale this lightning powder? It's definitely not good for you. Definitely not. Will you die? I'm not sure. No, I'm sure because I would have died a long time ago if inhaling bleach was um, very, very toxic. So I think we're fine. I have less brain cells for sure, but I didn't start off with very many anyways, so. Hmm, hold on. Let me watch the video. I don't know how am I supposed to measure the ratio, so I'm just gonna rely on the consistency. I don't know what kind of bleach powder or developer that was. Uh, I don't know. Can't really give her advice on this one, but if we were in a salon, I would definitely use Foils. I would do paper thin sections. I would probably use 30 volume and lightener and I would probably do the mins and ends first and then hit the roots after. That is how a professional would likely do it. But at home, it can be a little different and a little more difficult to do yourself like that. I think this looks creamy. I think it's fine. That bleach looks way too liquidy. You definitely want it to not be like drippy. You want it to hmm, be kind of like a toothpaste consistency. Maybe not. A little thinner than that. Did I confuse you even more? Good. But just shouldn't be liquidy. It's gonna run all down your face and it's gonna dry out very easily. I'd recommend painting the foil first, laying the hair on top, painting more. This is not a good section though. See how it's all clumpy and you can't see through the entire section? You don't want that. You want to be able to see through the section. <gasps> this is a mess. This is not easy. Oh my God. It is very much not easy at all. And please guys, please just put another foil on top. You really do not need to close the foil. Just one foil and another foil. A little sandwich, a little bleach sandwich, baby. Don't eat it though. I just did a one small section and I'm dead. How am I supposed to do the entire head? Oh my goodness. She's exhausted. This is me when I'm doing foils on people. God forbid somebody asks me for a full foil. I'm like, no. <laughs> no dead ass. I'm like, no. There's just no world in which I need to do a full foil on somebody. Hair painting and foils mixed together always does the job. Nobody needs a full foil. They don't even look that good. And it takes me way too long. And a long time for me is like an hour. Like I'm good. Oh my goodness, I am so exhausted. My arms are so sore. God damn it. No, 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 no. Do you know what she did wrong? You should know by now. You know what, if you've been watching me for years, I expect you've been listening and that you know everything. 
But before I tell you, you should comment below if you know what's going on. Well, there's actually a lot of things going on that are really, really bad. This section was horrible. The foils should not be crumpled up like that or else you're gonna get some pieces with splotchiness and you just don't wanna like squeeze a foil. It just ends up making things really not even and not cute. And the heat distribution ends up being really off and weird. Again, there's so many things. The foils are falling out. We don't want that. Her roots have been already bleached, but her ends are still brown. We want to only bleach the roots once the mids and ends are a nice yellow color, like a bright, bright yellow. Then we can hit the roots because the roots process in no time, baby. Now she's gonna end up with bright roots and dark ends. And that's not cute for anybody. I have no idea how it looks in the back. What do you guys think? You don't want to know what it looks like in the back. She also missed a lot of her roots. <laughs> Surprisingly, my scalp is not burning, but I'm having a little bit of allergic reaction on my wrist. Oh, perfect. Just to add to the tragicness of this video. And on the edge of my forehead and on my face, it's burning. No! Your cute, adorable little face can't burn. Please take it off. She's literally getting chemical burns on her face. By the way, I came across this video that totally freaked me out. I mean, this girl, her hair is falling out in chunk after bleaching her hair. That's gonna happen to you too. I hate to tell you. And the thought of potentially frying out my hair or having a massive chunk fall out terrifies me. I'm scared. Me too. But you know what they say? No risk, no reward, right? Hi guys, I'm feeling a little bit shy today. I don't think you guys are ready for my hair transformation. I'm not ready. I'm feeling like a whole new person. Like it's giving. I'm gonna choose some betel nut and spit right on your face. <laughs> My hair is literally screaming for Bread Mondo to react to this hair transformation disaster. <laughs> I'm here and I'm reacting and I'm really reacting. I'm having an adverse reaction to this. What did you do? Well, actually, I know what you did. A lot of things. Oh, I don't know what's worse. The at mids and ends are orange slash red. It's actually very matching colors right now. And then her roots are bright yellow. <laughs> oh, sh she's gonna be in for a long ride I'm trying to fix this. Like, I have so many black patches everywhere. You see that? Hold on. Wait a second. It's way worse than I thought. I thought I had seen the worst from the front. No, 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 no. Then she parted this out of her hair. What? <sighs> Guys, that's horrifying. She has a cheetah print scalp. Literally a cheetah print scalp. Oh my god, this is gonna be such a disaster to try and fix. I don't even know how she's gonna fix it. It's very risky trying to fix this, even as a professional, because there's way too much going on. This is a color correction. And when you hear the word color correction, that means a lot of money. There's no turning back. I gotta finish what I started, so let's go for round two of bleaching. Let's go! Okay, we enlisted the help of somebody else. Let's see if they could fix up any of this mess. I started off feeling really excited, but now I'm feeling frustrated, angry, because my hair didn't lift as much as I was hoping. Wait a second, didn't you just bleach your hair again? But how does it look the same? Somebody didn't leave the bleach on long enough, or they didn't use powerful enough bleach. And I'm thinking probably both of those things combined. And now I'm left with all these rashes on my scalp. I'm literally torturing myself. Not the rashes. Oh, girl, that's not good. Give your head a rest immediately. I am going for round three. Of bleaching. She's gonna be left scalpless and hairless. I've never seen that before. Today might be a first though. Girl, I give up. <laughs> I give up. How does it just keep getting worse? Why is there bleaching all over your face? Why? Why? Why is it all over? Oh my god. And we bleached the eyebrows, which I love. I love a bleached eyebrow. Guys, there's nobody I don't like in a bleached eyebrow. Mark my words with that one. We did foils again, and we did the roots again. The roots did not need to be touched because they were already blonde enough, as blonde as your hair is probably gonna get. And then we bleached the ends at the same time, so that means that the roots are gonna get even lighter, and the ends are gonna get lighter, but not as light as the root. And it's still gonna be all over the place and mix matched. <laughs> I think I'm being very sensitive because I'm on my period. <laughs> but this is so funny. My scalp is burning. Look, <laughs> it is burning. I just find it so funny. I'm crying and recording myself and bleaching my ears. Soon I realized my scalp was actually bleeding and both my ears were swollen. So I decided to wash out the bleach. Oh my God, I, got, I just got chills. Guys, you know it's really bad if I get chills. There's only been probably 10 videos I've ever watched that have given me chills. And this is one of them. You need to give your scalp a rest immediately. Stop applying the bleach to your scalp. Do your ends only. This is getting bad. Be careful. The grossest part about getting bleach lesions <laughs> is that they pus, sorry, and they secrete fluids and it's really gross. I have decided I'm gonna tone my hair with extra light blonde. I actually bought silver color as well. I thought of mixing this together, but I was told that I cannot mix permanent color and semi-permanent together. Don't do that. Her hair fortunately did get lighter. Let's see what she does next. So I'm gonna go with extra light blonde. Oh my goodness. You are not f putting permanent color on that burn scalp. You are not. You are not. You are not. She's gonna do it, isn't she? Shut the f up. Oh my God, her scalp is going to fall off. One week later. Okay, so she applied that toner off screen.
green. She ended up using the permanent color and we're about to see the end results and she's probably gonna be crying. My hair looks nothing close to platinum blonde. Like I'm so disappointed. This entire process was so traumatizing. My scalp was so inflamed. It was literally oozing fluid and I got all the scabs and my hair was stuck in them. Yikes, disgusting. Honestly, if I got this burn after paying a salon, I would probably be more annoyed. But since I did it myself, I can't blame anyone. All I can do is just laugh it off. It looks no different. You're telling me you just put that permanent color on your hair, which I wouldn't have recommended. Definitely would have went with the semi permanent. And this result looks exactly the same as what it looked like before you did the permanent color. You really lost out on this situation. Damn. I mean, obviously, you guys, you can see the issues. Her roots are blonde, her ends are orange. It's a lot of different colors going on. What she really needs to use is a semi permanent color that is a dark blonde. By the way, I am coming out with dark blonde colors very soon. I would recommend my own, but I can't right now. Well, maybe by the time you saw this video, it might be linked below or on the website. I don't know. I would recommend, because her scalp is so fucked up, you need some conditioning. You don't want any kind of developer mixed in. And we want to use a dark blonde color so that the roots end up matching the ends. And we can kind of even out the color going on. I would definitely apply it to the lighter parts first and then drag it down to the bottoms later. But this is where she ended. And um, it's not giving. Hopefully she's fixed her hair since then. Comment below if you're watching. Did you fix your hair? Hi. Oh God, I'm freaking out. Destroying my hair, losing my sanity, becoming one with the camera. That's intense. Do not become one with the chemicals and do not destroy your hair. So I'm going to show you all of the products I got and I want to put a disclaimer. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's always a good start to a video when somebody says they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> developer we got the bleach we got the dye we got the colors app we've got the toner we got gloves we got jelly we got water we got expo marker we got color remover we have d18 a lot of shit going on that i don't love i'm gonna color zap the hell out of my hair i'm gonna wash it i'm gonna put some biotin in it and then i'm gonna just start dying that i'm gonna start dying <laughs> I'm gonna start dying. I'm so scared. Okay, we're doing color remover. Listen, color remover is always a path you can definitely take. I don't usually do color remover. If you know what you're doing with bleach, you just don't really need it in most cases and like 90% or 95% of the cases, I feel as though I do not need it. The way that bleach versus color remover works is a little bit different, but at the same time, kind of the same. So I just stick with bleach. But I've gone through so many hairas, um, and I think that maybe I should just finally have a bad hair era. Maybe it's time for me to just for once in my life look bad. I like the dark hair on her. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about the blonde, to be honest. But my mind changes a lot, so we'll see. Do I look good? Eight. Oh. Another eight sections, all right, at least we're sectioning. Listen, you can do four, you can do eight, you can do 16. I don't give a fuck, just section. I wonder if this is really gonna fully get rid of all the hair I have. All the hair I have. I wonder if this is gonna make me bald. Be careful applying color remover right to the root. It makes the roots process faster than the ends. And you don't want that to happen, right? Because then you'll have bright yellow or blonde or orange roots and your ends will be red or something. You know, it's just a different color and it won't be good. I'm running out of developer. Develop her? Where's the develop him? And where's the develop them? Thank you. I'll be right back. Skadoosh! We finished applying the color remover and we're gonna see if it did anything. If you don't do color remover right, it really doesn't work very well. You really have to fully follow the directions if you want good results. And a lot of them require you to rinse your hair with really hot water for like 20 minutes and nobody does that, I feel like. Ugh. I'm understanding that this is probably a big deal, me seeing spots of red, but I'm also manifesting that that just means I get to further explore how much I can do with my hair. The worst thing that could have happened happened, which her roots turned red and her ends didn't move at all. Congratulations, you got the worst outcome you could possibly get with color remover. Nice job. <laughs> We're at the part where things can maybe go wrong. I'm gonna do this again. It looks slightly lighter. I would say 10% lighter, so that's, that's an improvement. <laughs> washing, washing, washing. Round two of color remover complete. Let's see the results. We're gonna apply this iron treatment. I have to do so much rinsing and washing of my hair. I'm starting to lose my mind. It looks no different again. What the f? What the f? What the f? What the f? I'm going at this with confidence, agility, speed. Okay, for some reason, her hair looks very, very pretty right now. Like, this red is her color. I don't want her to go blonde. I want her to keep it like this, but we're not going to. We're going to go blonde, which sucks, because it looks really, really healthy, shiny, and nice. And I love it. And I want this to be her color forever. But I'm not gonna get that today. I forget what I want. I think I'm gonna do it in quarters. We are foiling. Everybody loves a foil these days. Was that me? Did I influence that? How did the foil thing happen? Why did we start using foils all of a sudden? We are, by the way, not sandwiching the foils. We are, in fact, folding them. Because people love to make things harder for themselves. I'm just going crazy, by the way. Washing, washing, washing. Okay, hold on. You already rinsed that section out. You're timing each section for what, five minutes? What is the point? Why did we rinse it out? It wasn't blonde. Guys, you can open the foil and look. If it's not blonde, you don't rinse it out unless your hair is falling off. You know what I mean? Like it's that simple. So remember when I said I didn't know what I was doing? Yeah, your hair is orange. Can you see that now? Yes. 
Yes. My roots are very much bleached. We already did the roots. We already did the roots. Why? This I can bleach more again, I think. I think I'm just gonna go for it. This is going to take a month for her to get through her entire head if she's doing it like this. All right, we're working around the head, getting that bleach everywhere we possibly can, and all the places where we shouldn't, and missing all the root areas, and making sure that the ends turn out red, and the roots turn out blonde. But we're getting somewhere, for sure. I got bleach in my eyeball, and I ran out of tinfoil. Leave the bleach on the scalp, okay? So everybody today needs to stop with the bleach in their eyes. You would never guess that there is two other braids under here that are completely different colors. Why is your head ten different colors? Why? I'm so excited. I feel like this is all about to come together. We are bleaching again. Do I think it's the most optimal look for her? No. But do I think this looks kind of like it was purposely done like this? Yeah. And it kind of eats a little bit. The bangs with the pure white blonde into that beautiful orange little ombre. I kind of like that. Am I really one? Does anybody else like this? Make sure you voting your favorite look at the end, please. Her foils are progressively getting better. They're folded very nicely and I can tell she's progressing as a young hairstylist. It smells so bad it burns my eyes. But do you see that bitch? She's gone platinum. It is not platinum. It is definitely very yellow. I can see it in the camera on this 2D screen that it is not platinum. <laughs> when the bleach is on the hair, it automatically looks lighter than it is. So when your hair looks platinum, it's probably yellow underneath. What you need to do, if you can't really tell what color it is, is take a dry towel and rub that liner off uh, just a little piece and look at the actual color. Many distractions later, we are going to apply the freaking protein mask. Yeah, it's still yellow on those ends. We're gonna tone it though. Oh, and also I just found out that the toner I got, the D18 can only be used for yellow and not for like the orange. It's looking really tragic and really dead. <sighs> It looks really dead. Sorry, I just rebooted. I was like, can I handle any more today? And I, I said, yeah, I can. For you. Update, my hair is falling out. Wow, that is quite a bit of hair. Oh, no. Hair gods, this girl has already went through enough today. She doesn't need any more. Please let up on her. The hair gods are not gonna let up on her, are they? This is not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, I'm sure I have spots under here that I can't see. Yeah, you know, it's spotty and it's orange and it's, and it's yeah, it's bad. This is effing tonable. We are so back, I think, but it was wood. For the inevitable day four, I'm gonna be toning it. It's not. You gotta get the base even, guys, so the toner attaches to the hair evenly. We can't just go in with toner on top of this. It's all multicolored. It's not gonna look right. Unless we do a root and end toner, where the roots are darker and the ends are lighter, then you might get away with it. And we're back from Sally's. This box is busted open on the side. Ah! I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. Don't. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mean to be a buzzkill, but don't get too excited, because... It's not looking great. I have literally done the impossible. We are blonde as hell. It's it's not blonde as hell. It turns out I bought the wrong dye twice. Um, I got this one and realized it was not the copper color I thought it was. And today I went in and I got this copper color. Are you going copper? I thought you were trying to go blonde. If you're trying to go copper, why did you lighten your hair so light? If you want to be copper, just lighten it to orange. You don't need to blonde. And then you're gonna put high color on top. Fill with the maximum amount of lift power. Girl, your hair is gonna fall off. Plus this is not gonna stick very well because it is so intensely lifting. It's gonna blast open that cuticle that's already blasted open and try to put some color molecules in it. And it's not gonna stick very well. And it might it might stick temporarily, but it's gonna wash right away. Next time you're at Sally, you'll find X model color. Copper and deep red. Ooh, coming soon. It looks so freaking orange. It's so freaking orange. I'm excited and terrified. I'm really scared. Why is it in foils? We wanna add more heat for no reason? We do not need foils. She applied the toner and she's rinsing it out. Let's see the finished result. Okay, this is the final hair. I think I'm gonna keep it like this. Honestly, I had fun. I know that it could totally be so much better, but I've never dyed my hair like this before. But ultimately, did I achieve what needed to be achieved? Yeah, I did. Oh my. My god, it's really pretty on her. It is definitely orange and we're definitely matching. I love the blonde pieces she left out and I do like this overall shade on her. It looks kind of good. It looks like we made the hair completely blonde and then toned it orange. What was that about? But you look fierce and you can really rock it. I love those glasses with the whole look. The whole look really comes together and you really embody the whole thing. But don't ever do that again. I hated that. I'm going blonde, baby. I'm going blonde. Another very dark head of hair and it looks to be very long. We should be in for another wild ride with this one. I'm running through my hair. It feels like forever. I was blown away by how much hair she ended up having and how long it was. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. So, I've mixed up the product already. We're using cream bleach, which I don't like. You guys know that by now. <laughs> Why do I not like it, you ask? Many reasons, but I won't get too deep into it. I just don't think it works well. I'm gonna bleach first, and then she told me that when I bleach it, it's most likely not gonna be the color that I wanted to be. Change your fire alarm battery, please. If you have a fire alarm and it's beeping, it's really not that hard to change it. You just get on a step stool and you just... 
pop it off. That's it. She told me that I would need this. I've been always saying this recently, but you guys cannot pick out toners before you color your hair. You need to bleach it first and then see where your hair ends up and get a toner that makes sense. It's not just like you just get a toner, one size fits all. Yeah, the product that she told me that I couldn't get was a um, a color removal. And I was watching a YouTube video. That's why I got the color remover, removal because the girl's like her hair was so dark and she needed it to strip out the like the box coloring. And when I told her that, she was like, no, that's not true. <sighs> It's another person with box color in their hair. <laughs> okay, well, she's gonna strip this box color out, apparently. All you need to do is bleach it multiple times. I need a towel, hold on. She does have some good things going on with her hair in terms of like, her hair is fine and thin. So usually fine thin hair lightens like that. And once that bleach expands, it kind of hits all the other hair fibers. So if you don't get it perfectly on your hair, you just have to make sure you apply enough. But if your sections aren't perfect, usually that bleach will expand and get to all the missed pieces. It does really help. So you start at your ends. Okay, but she said mids and ends first. We didn't mean go down five inches from your root. Just an inch from your root. And the sections need to be horizontally sliced or else you're one inch down from the root on this piece is gonna be two inches down on this piece if it's kind of like a weird, ugly section. You know, there's reasons why I say the things that I do. This is gonna be a disaster based on how it's going so far. <laughs> oh, and the caption says gone wrong, chemical burn. Yo, we can't catch a break today. We need to apply like quadruple the amount of light and air that's going on our hair. Her hair is dry. You want it to be thick, creamy. Barely can see the hair underneath the bleach type vibes. This is not enough. You gotta comb the hair before you put the bleach on too. You don't want tangles. You're gonna bleach the tangles and then you're gonna end up with uneven results. <laughs> I'm going crazy today. I'm gonna lose it. I feel like I might've, <laughs> I feel like I might've messed up. <laughs> Who's gonna tell her? Yeah, you literally messed up everything you could have messed up. Leave in the comments before y'all see the results. Do y'all think this is gonna look good or do y'all think that I should have kept it um, dark? You should have kept it dark. You are absolutely gonna demolish your hair in about five minutes. I'm losing it today. This is too much for me. My brain hurts. Why is the hair not changing color at all? Like not even a little bit yet. Like the stuff that she applied first has not changed even a little bit. This liner is way too thin. Like way, way too thin. This is like liquid she's putting on her head. It's probably like 70% developer and 30% bleaching powder and that's not what we want we want more like a 60 40 mixture the way that her hair has still not changed colors and she's finished with the bleach no this is not gonna even make a difference i don't think i i don't think i mixed that up right at least she knows and no you didn't and of course we wrap the hair on the top of the head we never want to do that because the heat inside that bun will be a lot more extreme than the heat outside the bun which will give you uneven results and patchiness but she did cover with a bag which i do like so that the heat will stay on her head <laughs> Oh, my bad. It did lighten for sure. Yo, she's like, what did I fucking do to myself? What am I doing? Uh, <laughs> should I rinse it out now? No, <laughs> you need at least another 45 minutes on that. I don't know how we all see blonde differently, but this is not blonde. This is orange slash yellow. You don't want to rinse it out at this point. What is wrong with me? What did I do? You did everything wrong. <laughs> what did I do? I messed my hair up. I hate it. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm laughing with you. It's okay. Literally when I was shampooing it, I thought it was gonna fall out. Like a big clump in the back was just hard. Like it felt like wire. Has it not fallen out yet? Keyword yet? Don't. Don't. <laughs> what a disaster. <gasps> Start itching my skin because I'm so fucking anxious right now. It is matted, it is yellow, it is orange, it is so bad. We're gonna put high lift color over this. <laughs> Guys, everybody today is fucking with me, I swear. I swear there's some, it's some kind of joke. It's a joke at this point. I'm gonna go in with the the hair coloring dye that she told me to use. Y'all y'all remember this stuff here? I'm gonna go in with that. Hopefully that will work up a miracle because I can't go into public like this. Okay, we need to obviously bleach those mids and ends again to get them to match those roots. That would be the next step. I would recommend 20 volume and bleach for sure. She might be able to pull it off, we'll see. I'm sitting here waiting uh, the 20 minutes for the box hair dye, but it literally, it like burns so freaking bad. Like, bro, it, it really hurts bad. Like my head is on fire and I know I should rinse it out. Oh, sorry. I 
blinked an eye and she had another layer of bleach on her entire head. On her entire head, her blonde roots again. What is with you guys? <laughs> if the roots are already blonde, you don't need to bleach them again. You want things to match. So if you gotta do like the dark spots first. You gotta get everything even, you know what I mean? I tried washing it with the purple shampoo. Um, it feels awful. Oh my God, her roots are even brighter now. We're back again. This is what I'm looking like. We're on to day two now. <sighs> Hopefully this is a better day for both of us. Basically, I have a new approach this time. I cannot go around looking like this. I can't. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Does she rock the blonde? Yes. With those dark eyebrows and that pale skin looking good. Like it doesn't look good, but it looks good on her. I have a new method this time. I'm gonna avoid the scalp because the scalp is already lighter than all of this. Yeah. That's a win for me today. She's finally doing something right. Yay! Avoiding the roots is the best idea right now. I've already mixed up the product. I got a whole bunch of rubber bands here. I'm gonna go ahead and section off small sections. Oh, the trash bag cape is coming out. <laughs> you know things are cooking when people put a trash bag cape on. So this round of bleach, I'll probably just leave on for 10 minutes, then I'll wash out and then I'll come back. And then um, I have the 1018 toner. TUT might work on her, cause her hair is pretty light. This is what it's looking like after the second bleach. And I've gone ahead and I've made the executive decision <laughs> to go ahead and tone it. Okay, still yellow obviously, but her hair is fine and very dry. I think TAT might be able to kick out this yellow. Fingers crossed. If it doesn't come out looking like how I want it to look after I tone it, then I'm just gonna wait the full month. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that up, put it in, I'll wait like 20 minutes, I'll come back and show y'all those results. Okay, she applied the DAT off camera and she rinsed her hair and we're gonna see how it came out. It's a 50-50 chance it looks good or it looks absolutely horrible and her hair fell off. For the final results, I cannot mess with my hair no more because it's literally like, it feels so hard like hay and when I rub my fingers through it, pieces are breaking off. It's so dead. I'm scared to even put any heat or anything on it. So I just gotta be like this. I know. This is it. It's still drying, but uh, this is what y'all are gonna be saying. Is it exactly how I wanted it to be? No. Did I think it was gonna be better? Yes. Do I regret my decision? Yes. But you have to make the most out of our mistakes. And that is the lesson for the day. Make the most out of your mistakes. I'm gonna rock this hairstyle. Um, it's still like a whole bunch of different colors, but it's really hard. And uh, give me advice on what I'm supposed to do to fix this. I know I messed up. Y'all don't have to tell me, but please help me fix it. Oh my God. Is the blonde perfect? No. But is she rocking the f of it. Yeah. Oh my God. You should never not be a blonde. You look perfect. I think you just need a better toner formula next time. Like I don't think you should be doing T18. I think you should do more of like a natural blonde, like a 9N. Just something with a little more depth to it instead of this kind of grayish mixed with yellowish tone going on. But otherwise, okay. wow, how the fuck did we get here? And you're saying your hair feels crunchy. That just means you need to wash your hair again. The crunch is usually from toner or bleach left in the hair after you wash it. You really gotta wash your hair a lot of times for it to come back to that smooth feel because it really latches onto that hair. But if it is from damage, which I don't think it is, your hair doesn't look too damaged, it just looks dry. But you should use Bond Boosters for sure. And I will actually send you my Supernova lineup of products so you can tone your hair, get that Bond Booster in, the oils, the proteins, everything you need for your hair to feel better and look better than ever. But wow, you somehow did that. I'm actually really surprised. Make sure you guys vote for your favorite look right down below. I think you know what my favorite is. It is Jay Family. Yeah, your hair looks great. I'm obsessed. But please let me know yours because I love hearing your opinions. That was horribly stressful. Make sure you check out my hair care and my hair color line at xmotohair.com or with the links right down below. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.